Hi, Bill Ryan here from the Torn Harmony Tai Chi in Qigong in Northampton, Massachusetts. This is the second video in our series on how to sit in the chair in the ideal way so that you get optimal energy flow in your body, what the Chinese call qi. Um, the chair that I'm using is uh, produced by a friend of mine named Hal Michaels, who designed the chair according to the specifications of our teacher, Bruce Francis, for, for how a chair should be constructed that will allow you to sit in this way. Uh, one feature of this chair that has been built to my, uh, my dimensions so that it allows me to sit in this chair uncomfortably. Um, one aspect of it is it uh, actually allows the back to be at a slight angle down or at a 90 degree angle. And so you can set the chair up to use it in either way. So if you've been sitting in the ideal way, you sit forward toward the front edge of the chair in this way. But after a while, you may be tired of this, particularly if you haven't developed the capacity to do it yet. It takes a while for the body to transfer the capacity into this way of sitting. So you may get tired, or you may have back pain, and you need some support from your back. So there are two ways that you can go about doing this. The simpler way is to use the back to support your hips and your buttocks in order to support your lower back. So I'm going to show how you would sit in order to do that. The first thing is you would move your feet back to be close to the front edge of the chair. And Hal's chair is designed to allow you to do this. Then the second thing you do is as you begin to sit, you can put your hands down and you're then going to place, oops, I need to move back a little further. You're then going to sit in such a way that you make contact with the chair with the back of your derriere. And then you're going to gently push upward, use the chair to push upward against your lower hips and back as you sit down. So that your, the muscles of your buttocks are actually pushing up into the muscles of your back. At that point, once you've made that contact, you can move into the more ideal sitting position. And it's just your very lower, top, top of your pelvis, lower back that is making contact here. And what this allows is for the chair and the back of the chair to support your lower back while you sit. So you can see that it's difficult for me to slump in that area of my body. And so I'm getting a continuous support. I'll go through all the other things that I would do in uh, good alignment as, as well, uh, particularly the slight pressing of the feet against the floor. So this is what you do if you need to support your lower back. If you have a, a problem that requires that you need some support up or higher, then there's a second technique that you can use. It starts the same way as the first technique, but then you continue to use the back to exert slight pressure upward along vertebra by vertebra all the way up into your middle back and even between your shoulder blades. So let me show you how to do that now. Same basic principle, find the distance, you then sit, Find that place where you can support the back of the pelvis. And then at this point, you bring your feet forward and then you feel that you're placing your lower back against the chair and then placing more your middle back and even up between your shoulder blades. So that now the back of the chair is supporting your spine, keeping as much upward gentle upward pressure against your spine as possible to lift the vertebra and not allow the, the body to collapse downward, which will close the vertebra and lead to more pain. And then you settle in and find that it's the chair now that is helping the support. Notice the slight pressure on the bottom of my feet that I'm using to help create this pressure weight upward along the body to maintain this. I've sat like this for lots of times, and uh, it's a very effective way of keeping your spine open and perhaps being able to relieve any pain that you're feeling. But you never know, all you can do is try. Uh, and you would need to adapt and adjust these postures, obviously, to your own particular situation. But these are the big principles. Okay, thanks for checking in.
If you'd like more information about the chair that Al's produced and which you can purchase to your own dimensions, uh, check out emeditationchair.com. For more information about the principles that I've taught here, you can read Bruce's book, which is called The Great Stillness. This is the second uh, volume of the two-volume series about Taoist meditation. So thanks for being here, and uh, we'll see you the next time.